This is probably the beginning of the cyclone that's hanging out towards the Solomons. We'll just get going and see what happens. I don't know. We could be really wet here. I'm Houghton Richards, a linguist with SIL in Vanuatu. Over 100 languages are spoken in this Pacific island country. I work with native speakers on the island of Ambrum to study their language and translate the Bible. To better understand the dialects of the island, we're taking a linguistic survey trip. I'm joined by Ross Webb, a veteran Bible translator from Australia, and two linguistic students, Anna Marie and Hannah. We're about to take down some word lists. We're going to be going from village to village and just copying down word lists, transcribing it in IPA. What I want to test is mutual intelligibility. How similar are the two languages? I'm excited to do it, but yeah, a little bit nervous. It's been a while since we took phonetics <laughs> class. Yeah, man, it's been a long time since I've done that. Oh, they're really, really weird sounding vowels. <laughs> My head was spinning by the end. <laughs> Pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was stretching my focus. I think I was following it pretty well. Um, and hearing hearing the differences and but very encouraged by how close they are together. I'm really excited about how much I'm gonna be able to just come in and out of the language the two languages down here. Well, you could see them cooking in the background, so that, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and eat and, and then get tucked into bed and hopefully have a nice long day tomorrow along the coast. The villages of Ampram aren't well connected by roads, so we take a boat to the northern part of the island. That proves to be its own adventure. <laughs> but at last, we make it to my home in North Ampram. There, our group splits up and I joined my friend Philip on a visit to Milto, about five kilometers down the coast. We're here to just survey, see what language they speak, how many families are here, how interested they're going to be in the Bible translation work we're doing. He knows the language, and so the value of the local guy is he's my cultural navigator, he's my language navigator. To get into affiliates, people, they have to know who you are and what your relationship with them. Ambram is dominated by two active volcanoes. The rugged terrain divides the various language groups and makes access difficult. We need to know the boundaries of these language groups and dialects. So we head across the interior at the base of the volcano. Sometimes the only way to go is on foot. You can't get lost, this is very clear. Normally I'm able to see landmarks. A lot of the sulfur and smoke from the volcano is kind of ruining my landmarks. But I think we were going left in the right direction. This is where we're supposed to be. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I know nothing. Maybe it'll clear up. I just can't get my bearing. There's just nothing to see. Right now I'm being honest. I. I just don't know. Are we lost? All right. Because of the weather, uh, because we're lost, uh, and at this point we do actually know our way back, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn around and go back. We're running out of time and we definitely don't want it to start getting dark. We hopefully don't do this every day, <laughs> but we do come to these sorts of places because we, we want we want to give people the best possible chance of knowing God through Jesus, and that's through his word. The only way to know God through his word is to have his word understandable, and we want to translate it so that they can understand it. Yeah, you got to get to where the people are. You've got to get to where the people are, and if it takes walking, you got to walk. 
Sawa lengo, aru lengo, demulo, bebe moro.